Welcome to Members Night Recap. We're back with Simply Okay, The Bagel, and Dr. Feelgood. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing good. Ready to watch some laser tag. Some taser lag, dude. Well, you guys are in luck. I was going to show you some paintball, but decided we'll go with some Space Marines 5. Dr. Feelgood, what do you think of this team? I think that it looks like a wall. Mm. Yeah. Expl exploon, expound. This looks like a castle and not a whole lot of our players are trebuchets. I don't even know what that know word means. Articulate that. <laughs> but it sounds <laughs> fancy. Very, very strong defensive players, I think is what he's trying to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the def the defense is going to be nuts. Going to this is going to be hard to get through. Mm -hmm. Looks like a whole lot of guns on me at once. It's a whole lot mm -hmm. of experience, I think. Is. That too. This is a whole lot it's, of miles. Yeah. It, it's uh, a lot. The odometer on this bad boy is racked up. <laughs> Everyone on this team is Are you calling us old? years of experience. So I think communication is going to be there. Yeah, Defense this looks like the there. Grand Maesters, dude. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. What do you think, Bagel? Looks like a team to me. <laughs> yeah, it's a team. I'm excited to watch you and I playing some resub together. That's a rarity. <laughs> I always and, uh, love watching Anthony play Scout. His Scout yeah. is awesome. This you old. tell. What is it about his Scout? I don't know. He's he's a, a good mixture of offensive and defensive. He's mm -hmm. like offensive when he needs to be and defensive when he needs to be. It's great. He's very, mm -hmm. very fluid. He has really good game sense as a Scout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. He's usually what I notice since I like record all these and I edit them I he's usually one to come up the ramp at really inconvenient times for the enemy team yep <laughs> he also always has one he's one of the highest accuracies in the entire site nah, which crazy. like usually is something that um you know when you're blasting away on scout you don't think about that but um he's always really good about maintaining his shots and using them wisely and then, yeah, when I look at the three hits, Sergeant Tucker, his play style is definitely to be a wall until he until he needs to go hammo and then he sprints 60 yep. miles an hour into the enemy team. Hammo. <laughs> and Loki, um, his play style is one where he floats around racking up points, but he isn't, he doesn't always, like, he's not about pushing you out of spots. He just wants to fish in a barrel you. Yeah. He's about territory. Let's not forget Ray and GL, the beacon of communication. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. He, Our watchtower in the night. He oh, yeah. Is, Defender of the realm. He's very good at communication, and he's also very good about holding territory. He does mm -hmm. not get pushed out very easily. No. He stands his ground. Yep. All right, good if I move on? Yep. Any more thoughts? Let's get it. Simply okay, what are your thoughts? This is a whole lot of new blood with some old blood mixed in. Um, mm. I mean, not like fresh blood, but you know. Um, yeah, new blood can be old blood. Um, yeah, like the, they're experienced, but um, it's definitely a matchup to see, you know, Sammy, Azra um, going against like Joe and Troy and Anthony. Mm -hmm like people who've been playing this game for years. So, mm -hmm. but I still think it's a, it, I think the offense on this team is super strong. Like mm -hmm. Jarrett. Spooky. Jarrett is one of the most Scott offensive Stay. players you will ever meet. And James on heavy is yeah. pretty mm -hmm. steep. Yeah. There's Where something kind of opposite about in the arena at all times with unlimited ammo too. <laughs> 
And Swagstar is the medic. The uh, coming back from the dead. <laughs> my man, my man has been gone for a long time. He hopped in this one week. I know, mm-hmm. dude. I couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah. Nathan was my. Uh, he was my midnight madness buddy. Hell yeah. Oh really? Him, uh, him, Tyler, Colin, and I were tearing shit up. I love me some Tyler many, and Colin. Many a summers. So yeah, he, he brought I, you in. Oh, man, I wish we could get Tyler and Colin, and I would love to have them in on this. Now yeah. that we've fixed some toxicity issues and stuff like that, I actually think Tyler would would love to play Space Marines with us if he has time. I don't know what he's doing as far as like school and stuff goes. Well, let's get our top men on this. It's true. Bromley is oh. always um, on ammo. He's kind of a a wall himself as ammo because he can he can look over all of the walls in the arena yeah with unlimited mm-hmm. shots something i sort of envy <laughs> literally <laughs> i'm right in the middle dude i i'm not small so i can't get under windows and shit very easily but i'm not tall either so i can't jump over the walls like i i'm just in purgatory <laughs> average right purgatory I'll never be S tier. I think this team looks really good. Yeah. Um, How come? Joey and Jarrett are super loud. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Azra is really loud. James. Mm-hmm. Uh, is really James, loud. James is really <laughs> good at <laughs> laser tag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He shoots a lot of people, so we'll see what happens. (laughs) Something Um, I think is kind of opposite from the fire team. I think the Commander Heavy and both scouts, they are all people who will vividly push in on the enemy team. Yeah, They're coming for those medicates. Yeah. It's kind of an assassin comp. It looks like Josiah might be dead pretty quick. Mm Mm-hmm. Under the wrong circumstances. Under the wrong circumstances, Josiah could die at any moment with this team. Mm-hmm. And then you got traumatized. Essentially, he he could lead from the rear in this situation and be just sending out the attack dogs. It just depends on how he plays it. Yeah. I recorded this game, and I feel like I remember him doing exactly that. I don't remember this game, to be honest. It's going to be fun to rewatch it. I don't think I've seen this game. I definitely haven't. Yeah, I'll I'll give a little spoiler that we should be paying closer attention to Josiah in this game because he whips out a pretty significant (laughs) medic game uh, that that I think that all of us can learn from. I played a good medic game. Oh, you played a great medic game. We're going to let you had one of those me medic games where you got 30 MVP points. Oh. Ooh. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, look at Scott them. Sterling with the, the GoPro. All right, go, James, run fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strict was pretty quick. The, the off angle on third floor. Uh, Scott mm-hmm. Sterling is now ghost with a five instead of an S. Mm-hmm. True. With the uh, scythe lettering. <laughs> the scythe lettering. Looks like Josiah is getting his bases early. Mm-hmm. Seems that way. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll notice he pretty much stays on the bottom floor for the entire opening battle. He does get some some shots in, but he doesn't draw attention to himself, which is pretty intelligent. Yeah, it seems like Red is mostly taken over the uh, the red side and. Green's kept closet and the chamber. Wait, did I lose my life to a friendly fire? 
<laughs> Who got you? I don't know, but that's tragic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hard to watch All the right. scoreboard and the screen at the same time. There's so much going on. That did not look very clean to me. No. It looked what, like it showed been a little over 10 feet. So, Hamez, you have our permission to give Joe a small, small punch in the shoulder next time you see him. <laughs> Luke is the ammo, took down uh, Hamez as the heavy. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like Hamez took over the, the fortress. Mm -hmm. Nice quickly, shot, Joe. Yeah. Joe just shot Strickla. Yeah. Ben is so love, loud. Love Ben's Joe, communication. Joey is giving so much support right now. He is. He is He's doing going ham, dude. Yeah. He needs some juice, though. He does. Looks like. It looks like, mainly like Azra, really needs to push out and, and yeah. push the red. She's doing really good on lives and shots. Her mm -hmm. and Scott Sterling might want to keep some pressure and let let Joey and, really and uh, right James now. heal up. Mm -hmm. We're doubling. She, she, technically, she's ahead of him, actually. She's behind at special points because it's true. Troy got in spaces. Spaces. That yeah. is true. Yeah. Ben is holding the door. <laughs> Joey is crit right now. Man. He needs to. He needs to get some resubs. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Raiden Geo. Hold that door. Oh, Sergeant Tucker is also just. He's pushing him in. Yeah. Joey got some resubs. You got some lives. Something that was a real privilege for uh, to stand us, still Mr. Tobagel, is the resupply is that our team was giving us enough space where we could be aiming out at the field most of the game. Yeah. Or at least right here, we're kind of like a sniper tower. We're able to look both directions and give resupplies where needed. Um, green team's definitely trying to siege and take the, uh, the big box. It's been kind of their main goal. But no one gets through Ben. Yeah, it's kind of, there's not really any well, ground being taken. taken. There, it, it's a standstill on third floor. Yeah, right now it's but it's in Red's favor floor. because of their positioning. Yeah. So they're just shooting them to death. Yeah, it, right. it's, I think it's mainly because Red has most mostly second floor controlled for the most part. Green's medic actually has more there. lives. True. Right, because you guys aren't attacking the green team. You're just letting them run into the wall. Yeah, it's true. And and we forget this. I forget this a lot. That you don't always need to be pushing them. If you have a decent position, you can just let them run into the wall, like you're saying. Uh, Strickfoot uh, comes down to second floor. Yeah, if Sergeant Tucker notices that, they're in trouble up top. I think they are in trouble. And Loki missiles out the heavy. Not out of the game, but out of the big box. And it's always so surprising to hear Sammy scream. I know, dude. I was she's about so, to say she's like, she, like a banshee when she's in the zone. She, once you get to know her, like she, she becomes a lot more open. But when you first meet her, she's pretty shy she's so timid, right but in game bro that uh, shit is loud scary she, she yeah is she my, she's my beacon of communication for seriously. sure seriously mm -hmm. definitely i always she's, know where she is and what she's doing and she's loud and when how it well she's her. doing it <laughs> mm -hmm. based on the tone of her screen that is unfortunate for green team that Very puts unfortunately so bad. four people crit five technically right yeah Panic yeah mode is what that looks like yeah that that's that yeah. is a so uh, turning point for red green. just kind of kind of just walled up on the third floor like i said that that team was gonna do 
Yeah. And then uh, just let them run into the wall until mm. Troy had some nukes and then just kill them. I think Joe was just shutting down Sam. Joe, Joe was holding the door on the third floor and my boy Ben was holding the door on the ramp. Yeah. And they had no... Well, early it was... It was they don't have anywhere to go. Azra was problem. above... Um, low Am I in a poncho? Yes. You're totally in a poncho. It's pretty badass. Like a... Like a Tatooine merchant. Ben is keeping pressure while they're trying to resupply because they're crit. And I got Anthony. lives if you have the coin. <laughs> There's Anthony keeping pressure on him. Anthony and Ben are just harassing them while people are getting resupplied. Which that is really intelligent to do as a scout. Even if you're like below half as a scout, if yeah. you can go down and just stop them from getting resupplied while your three hits get full, yeah, that's such good use of your time. Yeah. I try to harass as a scout until I reach like 10 lives. I'll do I it usually reach like four. four. I usually do four. I am completely out of shots. God Sterling is upstairs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he, is. he is nearly By full himself. too. So good it's on Scott true. Sterling he's, for he's getting full up. Shots. He's thinking the same thing that, uh, that poopies and, and, uh, Raiden GL are, which is go upstairs mm. and pressure the the resupplies, but Swag because of the, the game. because of the floor advantage, it's oh, Jarrett. Yeah, that was a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a pop that shot. A, that a pop that shot. A pop shot there, buddy. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Green's medic is dead. Scout just died out. Mm -hmm. Ammo has three lives left. Looking like it's pretty, Dude. pretty strong in Red's favor. Yeah, this is the. There you go. As was dropping <laughs> yeah, news. Just, just looking at him. He's like, "Oh, you enjoy there you this." Go. <laughs> that was a target on Joe. Trail. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that Troy came up right at the <laughs> time. Dumped a missile in him. Bonk. Man, that and was he just, just got right place, oh. right time. He knew where to stand. My goodness. I mean, Bagel is down to six lives, but there's not going to be enough pressure to to get those six lives off of him. He already has a basis, so he doesn't need to go downstairs. He's in a fortress right now. Yeah, I mean, at this point in the game, you just become a scout. Yeah. Commander's six lives. If you're a Ammo's medic- about to die. And you end the game with 10 lives, there's probably a couple minutes that you could have been out fighting. Yeah. For Six guns or are you just five guns? Are you just commenting on me running around and shooting people? No, I'm I'm just making a point for like any medic that why would you end the why would you intentionally end the game with ten lives when maybe with like a minute or two left, if you're doing well enough, you just go out and fight. Yeah, just put more guns on them. It's not like you get bonus points for ending the game with ten lives versus one life. Yeah. Just make your it's, team look really good, I guess. It's sort of the same idea as if you're a scout and you have 12 lives, you shouldn't get resupplied in the last two minutes of the game or last minute of the game. Mm -hmm. You should be trying to score as many points as you can, trying to kill out the other team. Mm -hmm. Well, especially if the nukes already rolled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 12 lives at a... At like six minutes in the game, it's way different than twelve lives at two minutes left in the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. One one is uh, within reach of death, and the other is not. Spoilers: It's six minutes into the game. If you have twelve lives, you are in danger. 
30 MVP points. That is insane, Josiah. Wish I remember playing. <laughs> Got to see it, though. That was pretty cool. 4.25 mm. hit diff. You're in the poncho. You're probably so hot your brain cells died. <laughs> <laughs> Just sweating. Just, uh, <sighs> lives. <laughs> it, was, it was well played. Just freaking out, dude. And then next up on that list is Luke with the 19.76 mm -hmm. as ammo. Two top MVPs were the resubs. Mm hmm. Followed by Sergeant Tucker. Followed by Sergeant Tucker. So I mean, I'd love to go back through and kind of slow mo and just talk about what happened. I think it'd be really good to talk about what the green team could have done differently and when they could have done it. Because what we said at the beginning basically happened. We built our wall. We played defensive. We never tried to shove them out that hard, except for where, like, Sergeant Tucker saw the opportunity. He pushed in. Otherwise, there was just – we out-tagged him. Yeah. I think Troy early game was not doing as good as Azra, but – as soon as Joe started putting actual pressure on the reason on green, that it like Troy wasn't doing as good as Sammy, I think is because Troy was standing still and Azra was fighting the world. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was also Joe. Once Joe put pressure mm -hmm. on on green, Troy was able to take advantage of that pressure and just yeah. put more on it. Right. Because that's how Troy plays commander. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of hangs back and waits until he sees a hole and then goes in. I mean, it works out. I so, like this intro, Luke. It's so good, man. So cool. I, Thank you, guys. The But yeah, Tro like Loki, his, his strategy played well into the synergy of this team, if that right. makes sense. Yeah. Um, his his strategy worked with what the other players were doing and the earth team synergy could have really worked had they been successful in probably the early game like they really needed to get the resupplies get uh, get mischief and bagel like kind of having to run for their lives run downstairs uh they needed to coordinate their attacks a little bit more but the red team kind of we they bended but didn't break <laughs> yeah it's uh it's a, it's just a clear cut example of uh experience versus talent A lot of the, like we were saying, a lot of the players on the green team in this game don't, uh, they don't have the tournament and just sheer amount of games that pretty much everybody on the red team has. Well, I want to break that down. Like, what does that this more was, look like? This was a good, uh, well, it was a good learning experience for everybody on the green team to go, hey, if we're not gaining any ground, but they're also not like pushing us. It's probably because they feel like they have total map control and they know they're going to kill us. We need to start doing something else, right? Like go downstairs, take a breath, get some gas, try a different angle, make them come to you, you know, draw them out. Mm -hmm. And the red team is all experienced players enough to recognize that you guys didn't need to push them anywhere because where they were was beneficial for you. It was like a, if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of strategy. Mm. I think that the main difference between talent and experience is just game sense. Cause like yeah. talent implies the fact that you're good at laser tag, right? You can, right. you can tag people. You're... You can, your hit diff is going to be more than likely close to at least one. Right, where you're, yeah, you you can tell it's people. Good, your accuracy is good. You're using your missiles. That that that's what talent is, in my opinion, where you where you're able to to tag people just as much as they tag you. Mm -hmm. um, mm. 
if not maybe a little bit less. People who are more but, experienced than you specifically, you're able to tag or out tag them. Yeah. And, and with experience comes game sense where even if there's not there needs to be communication but even with minimal communication people know what other people are doing um joe like for instance is holding that angle even though he won that trade just to to hold ground there and then he sees the opportunity to push in um but that him tagging hamid okay buddy yeah yeah um but we love we love you joe we We do uh, i don't know if that was a chase dude I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so Jamez goes down the ramp. And he's sick. Right after this cut. Okay, so Jamez gets shot on the line. Joe stops. He doesn't go in. He backs up. Monk. No, you can't yeah, back cool. up on a trail and it, have it undo the trail. No, but the he didn't, he didn't go past the trail. He didn't what go we're past the line. He didn't go into the closet all the way. The chamber. chamber. Either way, this reminds me. We need to have a discussion about that. It well, might have been close, way. but I don't think it was not a chase. A, I bet that was nine. A not nine on and a half kind of conversation. As I was saying. Um, yeah, territory is being held. Game sense is there. There's a lot of off angles being held here because there's like traditional angles in this in this arena where like right you're looking down third, you're looking um, from closet to to chamber or from closet to switchback, um, just traditional angles. But you can see like Luke specifically um, is holding the angle from uh, fortress to trench um trying to get any picks uh any any tags off on anyone who's who's kind of floating around trench keeping pressure on the heavy keeping pressure on anyone who wants to come get resupplies like the the off angles and the game sense i think are really important for like in, in terms of experience Mm-hmm. If you had shot him for it and you were a ref, I would have I would have deemed that an acceptable shot, though. I I could be totally wrong. I I want to move on. I I kind of want to measure it next time I'm in the arena. We'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of this. The comment section here we come. Suggestion for the for the closet that we would like to discuss with the with the team. Great. Yeah. Anyways, um, I so really anyway. want to make a comment that Ben might be the secret MVP of this game. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. Both Ben, Joey, and Jarrett have a very similar positive, where all of them constantly talk, all of them are constantly trying to use their resources as far as they can without risking themselves against their team right so Mm -hmm. what ben does really well in this game is instead of trying to force the issue and get medicates he is just letting troy score a lot of points he is sitting in the transit areas where there's traffic that could lead to the resupplies and he is i know where they are he's in the midfield kind of as a support and it is mm-hmm. it is working really well. Um, he supported Troy in exactly the ways that um, I would hope someone would play. Yeah, like definitely. Said, he he's very good about territory control. He is not easily pushed over, and he held big box on like for dear life, um, <laughs> and it worked, and it gave because he held big box that gave. Troy more ground to, to work with. He also went downstairs and kept pressure a lot when they went downstairs, like like we said earlier. It was so important. I 
Um, a really big thing I would say for the green team is when when you are situationally like you feel tidally locked in these situations, it is okay to just try and figure something else out. Like if you physically cannot get through and you're just like having a bad time running into the wall, walk away, just go to your resupplies and be like, okay, this isn't working. We need to try something else. And maybe somebody else will have an idea or you can attempt to try to like manifest something with a scout you find along the way be like, hey, you, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, go get some That's... gas, reassess, try something new. Yeah, Let's try again. Um, Fresh troops. With with some after taking a second away from it, if you come back to it, it usually goes a little bit better if you give it a reset. But if it's still not working, do something else. Mm -hmm. uh, it is especially against like uh, a lot of different arena, a lot of different other sites, I was trying to say. Um, Detroit is really notorious for just like if they do push you out, they're just going to let you reset back up. That's that's kind of what their whole arena is about. Mm -hmm. It's scoring points over time by controlling space. And our arena isn't necessarily too different because like a ton of arenas all do that. But ours is definitely much faster paced and a lot more open. Mm -hmm. So it's harder to run away. Yeah, and that's something where the experience might come in. If you only play it in Loveland, or in, I would argue even St. George, because they're even more like us, where it's all about shoving the enemy out, killing people out quickly. There's a lot of arenas out there where it's so big and it's so forgiving that you win based on hit differential much more than who can kill the medic quicker. And so something the red team's doing that might not come intuitively to the dun, players dun, on the green dun, team dun. yeah here comes the head <laughs> is, here comes a mess, dude. is that you can win the game from a disadvantaged quote-unquote position if you're outscoring the enemy team like we never had to take closet or or chamber we just had to had to take up a lot of space and have our guns pointed at a lot of really good angles. Just another thing that uh, maybe experience does over talent is that talented players have a lot of physical prowess. They can come around the wall quickly and they can run and they have good accuracy. But if you are standing in the right spot, you don't need any of that because you just shoot the talented player in the back three times. <laughs> you shoot him. I experienced that a lot. <laughs> a lot. So many times. <laughs> Just shoot him. Especially in my first tournament in Detroit. <laughs> oh, yes. You so, ran into the totem pole. Uh, don't. <laughs> I wasn't bringing that up, but okay. The type it's, wall it's claims another dude. Me not knowing that I'm <laughs> losing five lives every time I get tagged. <laughs> John, you are a you are a significantly improved player now. I think this could be educational for oh, the kids. It's true. Do you want to recount the tale, or is it too traumatic uh, still? Oh, okay. Please. So Loveland is in Detroit for what was it the 2017 ECT? 2017 ECT, yeah. correct. And uh, Loveland was there. It was myself, uh, Fear Turkey, also known as Bagel now. Uh, the Slade Mobile, um, or um, Doctor Feelgood, <laughs> and we got Mischief. Mm -hmm. We had um, Sergeant Tucker, and then we also had uh, Rachel, who was on our team. We were gonna have Slaughter Rachel. Melon, but he backed out. Pint size, yeah, pint size. That's our code name. Um, and we were playing against the Detroit B team, 
and they B team was having a rough time. Um, and so they went against us and they were just like, all right, we're going to wall. So yeah, what a game standing up three people kneeling down at garage door in, um, uh. <laughs> in Detroit. So there's one entry and there's one exit. It's horrible. And it's so bad. Uh, well, this is my oh, first my. tournament. And though I knew quite a bit about space Marines, I didn't know everything. Still don't know everything, but um, I, I'd go in to push. I was a scout. I'd go in to push, try and get some medikits, try and kill them out. We couldn't find them at the beginning of the game, so <laughs> I went hunting, found them, tried to kill them. It took and... us like a minute to find them, by the way. Yeah, like, yeah. Like we, we, we all had no fucking idea. Yeah, and uh, I found them, and uh, not even two minutes later, I died. Um, <laughs> Uh, I straight up just got elimed out of the game uh, because I had no idea that when all six players tag me at the same time, I lose six lives. Um, so and and eating two missiles uh, in the back didn't feel great. Um, and I was very upset. Uh, we ended up winning the game, but I personally did not win the game. We paid the price of a John, dude. Yeah, no, it was it was rough for sure. You are sacrificed. Um, yeah. My my speed could not help me there. As much as I could outrun Terrence on bottom floor, it did not help me there. Terrence. <laughs> Noob. Mm -hmm. It was a traumatic experience. It's hard to talk about. Mm -hmm. But if it's educational for the kiddos, I'll... I'll uh, this is a safe place, John. Yeah. yeah. You're a brave man. Thank you. <laughs> they better not laugh. Hey, I... It, it, it could it, be you, kids. It was my first tournament. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was only... How many... I started... I think I started Ooh, playing 2017. I, I think my card started 2017, so... No, I got, I got hired at LLT 2017, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. I hadn't even played for a full year, so... <laughs> No laughing. No. That's honestly another huge thing we didn't talk about with experience versus talent, quote unquote, is people with experience have made a lot of mistakes and you're just less prone to make them again. You watch out for them in instinctively. Well, like you have that PTSD yeah. <laughs> to tell yeah. you like, hey, when they're walling, don't go into the wall. <laughs> Or attack yeah. it from three angles, like get get, get help. Yeah, um, I, I'm just saying this so when other sites see this video, um, totem poles aren't my weakness, um, so don't do it against me. Uh, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> He'll we just go to his commander and have whatever you nuke. say. <laughs> We, is that Ellie we as a, I think so, yeah. Is that what? Ellie. Oh. One of our awesome new members. Yeah. Ellie's been playing for a while. She's good. Ellie in the chamber. She's been playing. She she comes to members night here and there. Um, mm -hmm. Not like a regular every single week, but she comes here and there. No school. Laser yeah. tag's cool. No. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We got to get her a recorded game. Yeah, I know. Get it's about time. Trip. Yeah. Lock her in. Nightwing. Yeah. Yeah. You have to call me Midnight. <laughs> Guru Midnight, dude. No, I'm taking him with the poncho. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for points. The pop shot. Ooh. Oh yeah, that. Oh, oh, it was on the medic too. Yeah, that. Was... I don't Ooh. think he actually well, hit him. He never. Oh, he got was him. trying. Oh, he, he was trying. He was trying. <laughs> Tried twice. Can't penalize him. Didn't shoot me. It's true. I'm excited to be Scott Sterling's guru in this upcoming <laughs> duos tournament. Everyone's abandoned me. Abandoned. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. You like you had your backup plans too. Yep. Yep. And uh 
Thanks to a whole lot of people, and sounds like they they got plans too. So I'll uh, I'll about, play Duo's tournament solo. How about that? What about Nightwing? Hey, I I'm down. She even gonna play? Nightwing? You heard it here first. Is she even gonna play in the tournament? Well, when she, she might knows now. that she gets to play with simply okay. Yeah. <laughs> you could ask Nathan, dude. True. True. Bruh. Hit up hit up a swag star fifty five. Fifty five. You could play with Anthony. Sorry, Joey's got him. Oh, Joey's yep. playing with Anthony? Yep. Mm-hmm. I uh I I texted Autumn and, and seeing if I can play with her, but if uh John goes then then she's gonna be playing with him, so with her dad. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, with Disco Monkey. There, there's a lot of good players on the on the singles list yeah i'm i'm gonna be making my my rounds through the list like Don't speed dating it sucks yeah. dude i'm so sorry john it's okay uh <laughs> yeah. I, you've I, been like I, everybody's second pick for yeah. right I was I was excited for for going with Josiah, but everybody then, got their first pick, and then he uh, went with Judah, which he did. He was upfront about that, right? So mm-hmm. I'm not mad at him. I told I told him, "Hey, dude, uh, if Judah has to do school instead of come play laser tag, uh, uh, would you like to be my buddy?" Yeah. And, and I was if, said, "Fuck yes." Sammy told me that she was gonna play with James. You, it, I was gonna play with you. Yeah, but and then, then Joe uh, played with James, and then Joe played with James. Yeah. So and Sammy and I asked each other. Then I was gonna be with Bromley, and then Bromley went with with Troy. We well. <laughs> got Troy. Yeah. So uh, I'm in a I'm in a tight spot, but I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna come out with a partner, and we're gonna we're gonna kick ass. So I am oh, a man. <laughs> it is amazing how tall Anthony is and how low he gets behind that wall. Yeah, yeah. That is the hard. That's literally the hardest wall to get behind in the whole arena, too. Up the way. Um, that half wall on the red ramp is significantly lower than the half wall on the green ramp. So low. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, you heard it here, everyone. Don't sleep on Simply Okay. He is, well, we're going to play a video in a week or two that will uh, demonstrate his capacities. He's pretty good at laser tag. Hey, thanks. I oh, learned yeah. from the best. Scythe is pretty good, dude. Pine size. <laughs> hey, I will say, Scythe did give me advice that was not shoot people, don't get shot. Lucky. He actually gave me actual Lucky. laser tag advice during my second tournament that we had in here in Loveland. <laughs> I barely outscored our medic. <laughs> so wedding. Pretty amazing how you doesn't... outscored your scouts. <laughs> What's fabulous is the reason that the point disparity is the way that it is, is because green team was fighting to the death. They weren't worried about getting bases. They weren't, Mm -hmm. they weren't wasting their time with the free points. They were grinding, (laughs) battling their way to the top. (laughs) Fighting the raid boss, dude. They put their whole B team spirit into that. (laughs) I, that was fabulous. Yeah. I think that this is a prime example of why aggression isn't always the best strat. Well, right. But what's going to happen is they're they're just under leveled, is what we've been saying. The reason I, I say the B team spirit is because we did the same thing in Syracuse when we were playing against Sacramento in the finals yeah. when we just were like, "All right, the gloves are off." <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We died on spears. It was pretty good. <laughs> we died on spears. California rock, that was a, rocked our world. That was a crushing <laughs> defeat. The Dothraki charging into the night. 
yeah. that game that game almost <laughs> sent me into retirement i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but i'm back i'm yeah, reborn you're here to stay basically at least for like members nights hey i got a medikit yeah you did get a minute hit. Look at a table flip with the one hit diff. Despite all that, this despite the odds, right. Joey Joey was doing some work and he got two <laughs> yeah, hits. Flipping the table. <laughs> um, honestly, Joey played really played well. well. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think if they medicates. there there might be merit to start having a real conversation about how the early game. Um, uh, how to how to respond to early game stuff? Mm -hmm. but Absolutely. Both heavies got four meta kits. Hey, -o. hey. -o. And Azra only got one less meta kit than Loki. Yeah. It no, was... no doubt about the talent on on the green team there. I think yeah. they just didn't know to adjust or maybe how to adjust when when the initial strat wasn't working. So I agree, might be good to talk about openings and adjusting to openings. Pivots. Mm -hmm. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we should wrap this up here in a minute. Do you guys have any closing thoughts? Are we playing laser tag tomorrow? Probably it, not. It Maybe. might blizzard, man. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to get down to like negative eleven or something like that. Something dumb, yeah. 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 Well, we're uh, doing commentary over a laser tag game. No, you're good. I think I think that uh, green team gave it their best shot, and that's mm -hmm. all you can ask for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Red had to play as well no, as get, they did in order to stop them. And the way that Red played is naturally countering what Green was doing. Right. So, like, there's advantage. You're forcing them to run into you because you're using the angles to your advantage so that they have to move in weird ways. Mm -hmm. Also, I think if green team got to be the red team like if they started on red side that would have helped them a lot because that's the side that naturally has kind of initiative james i think might have been able to push joe out of the yeah out of chamber out of the chamber versus the other way around red Maybe. gets to the that top in our arena red gets to the top in our arena just a little quicker and uh, usually green starts kind of on the back heel as a result so it might have synergized better if they got to have the red side. If we ever do like a season two, but we just do rematches, um, that'd be uh, this would be a game to do a rematch. Yeah. Mm. Season two. <laughs> season six, man. That's that's what I'm saying. They're just under leveled. They're gonna they're gonna take their loss. They're gonna go out. They're gonna grind a little bit more. And when this when they reunite to fight the raid boss, they might do it. Mm -hmm. However, I will say that we are I, 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 I am personally seeing more consistency. Overall. Out of everyone like mm -hmm. there. They're, I know it's, it's weird like how when we done. practice, we get better. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super weird. Well, it's not just better. It's just more consistent. <laughs> Like it's it's not necessarily better. It's it's just more consistent. Like consistent is better than inconsistent, dude. Well, it, yes, but better is very broad. I'm mm -hmm. okay. I was paraphrasing. That's fair. But I I am seeing more consistency with like specifically Jarrett and uh, Sammy and Joey and uh, Hamez where like they're they're consistently knowing where to be um or who to tag but a lot of the times the game since 
isn't always all there, which is fine. Like, it happens. Mm -hmm. I lose track of my game since. You lose I... What? Sorry, I was yeah. popping my back. Well, that's a good place to end. All right. See you later, consumers of our content. Alligators. Anyone you coming gators. to the duos tournament? I'm actually going to be putting out a little graphic soon to make the to explain what the heck this is all about a little better. But we're excited to see you all here. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm still open for a duo. Somebody love John, please. Shout out to Nolan too. Nolan was the first person. I think Nolan texted me like literally ten minutes after I texted John. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>